the Department of Fisheries would like to take the opportunity uh, to speak to and to advise uh, a number of our stakeholders, including fishers, seamoss farmers, and uh, aquaculture farmers, those aquaculture farmers who are involved in fish and shrimp farming. Considering that we are in the hurricane season, we would like to uh, advise all fishers, aquaculture farmers, and seamoss farmers to pay serious attention to the advisories being issued by the Met Office as well as the National Emergency Management Organization. We know that there are many sources of information at this point in time in terms of uh, whether it be tropical storms or hurricanes, but the department would like to urge all our farmers and fishers to heed the information received or provided by credible sources. In terms of our fishers, of course, the first thing we would like to indicate is for fishers to be mindful of saving their life, their families, and property. So when an advisory is issued, we would urge everyone to follow and adhere to these advisories. Of course, we have some specific uh, advice for uh, our fishers. Please do not go out to sea if the conditions of the ocean or if the advisory indicates that you should stay on shore. Do not go out to sea. When a storm is approaching or ahead of a storm, we would urge all fishers to pull their boats ashore or to secure their vessels in an appropriate location to get the vessels out of the shoreline because if you have storm surges or you have high wave action, this can certainly damage the property or the asset. Uh, in terms of the uh, CMOS farmers, of course, if you have harvestable CMOS, we would urge all CMOS farmers to harvest as much as possible those CMOS uh, that are mature and secure their CMOS lines. One of the things that can be, one of the actions that can be taken in terms of CMOS farming is to lower the lines to the bottom of the ocean because generally at the surface there is increased wave activity and that can result in CMOS lines getting damaged and losing CMOS. Uh, if you have, for example, a fish pot or some kind of secure frame, uh, you can put some of the CMOS in these uh, secure frames or fish pots. So at least if you lose some uh, of your CMOS lines, you will have planting material to restart your farm after the storm. Uh, it is important for the aquaculture farmers those who are engaged in uh, fish and shrimp farming to consider disconnecting the pipes that usually uh, discharge or uh, uh, release water into the ponds because usually these uh, uh, pipes would have an increased water volume during a storm when you have heavy rainfall. So you really want to reduce the chance of overflow of your ponds and thereby break the possibility of breaking the embankment or the sides of your ponds. Uh, you also do not want to have an overflow because at the end of the day, you can end up losing your produce, whether it be shrimp or fish. Certainly you would want, if you have pumps, for example, um, and your area is low-lying or prone to flooding, you would want to secure these pumps, secure your equipment, secure your machinery, so that you would not face severe loss 
uh, during uh, a storm and that you will be able to continue your production system or your farm after the storm. Another important point is in relation to uh, aquaponics farmers. We know that we have a number of aquaponics farmers um, who would have their, uh, their, their, their farming system. They are covered sometimes with um, greenhouse uh, material or plastics. We would encourage them to secure or remove those plastics or those coverings ahead of a storm because when you have increased wind speed, you can end up um, with these coverings being blown away and therefore uh, you can, your, your, your farm or your investment can suffer um, severe loss. At the end of the day, I would like to repeat that um, one of the most important things ahead of a storm or during the hurricane season is to listen to the advisories and to protect your life, your family, the lives of your family or relatives, and of course, your asset. So this is what we would like to urge all CMOS farmers, all aquaculture farmers, and fishers to pay great attention to. Thank you.